Welcome back, everyone, to another Die Condi sectional production hosted by Deathstroke 9. Tonight, we shall react to Type O Negative, Black Number One, also known as Little Miss Scare All. Welcome to the channel. And, uh, welcome back to the October series of Halloween y reactions and fall related reactions. If you are new to the channel, and want to join us for our uh, fun, you know, uh, Halloween time, consider subscribing. But, um, yeah. Hello. So this is a group that we have not done yet, but a lot of people said this is a great Halloween group. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to check them out. So, Type O Negative. That already sounds Halloween-y. Um, <laughs> nice play on words on blood type. So, yeah. Um, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Daniel, aka Deathstroke9, and here we react to music, mostly, and I try to figure out what the music and the lyrics mean to me personally. And we're gonna culminate this um, series of halloween -y reactions with hopefully a reaction to the movie Psycho and analysis and all that. So, stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get into this. Now this song, uh, is called... Let's see. Let me pull it up. Black number one, as I've previously mentioned. There we go. And uh, I've got the lyrics pulled up over here and the official video for it. So, yeah, let's start it. This, uh, this is the link that you guys sent me. So three, two, one, typo negative, black number one. She's in love with herself She likes the dark Ooh, that is... Ugh. And on her milk-white neck The devil's mark Now it's all hollow sea Very gothy. <laughs> will she trick or treat? I bet she will. She's got a date and feet. Oh, I turn it up. With no spot around two. Oh, baby, really most of You got a very cool voice. pause it there um <laughs> wow this is perfect this is perfect everything about this so it's like it's almost like goth metal i guess you could say is so it's very heavy his voice at the beginning sounded like a vampire um like when he said trick or treat he said trick or treat um his voice was so deep and everything was enunciated very much and there was a lot of like anguished sounds um and the lyrics we're, we're gonna need to take a deeper look at the lyrics i think i've heard references to some i've heard him say nosferatu um uh and it sounds like he's talking about a girl too so little miss scare all um anyway yeah really cool uh thank you guys for uh, introducing me to this this is this is fun let's keep going We'll get that spell on me Boom, there it's crap Yeah, you wanna go out Cause the spirit is blowing in You can't go out Cause the moon is going I'll fly Who die 
fun riff too. That sound like the Adams Family theme song. Last time. Um, this video is very like evocative of the feel of the song, but then they're like, it looked like what's he? He's playing, like it's like a, a acoustic. Like, that that looked like a stand up bass or cello. And he's playing an acoustic guitar, but <laughs> like, is that supposed to be a joke, or is there actually acoustic guitar in it? Um, and the piano sounded like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sounded like. All right. Anyway, this is fun. Uh, wow, I'm probably gonna do more by them for Halloween. Next up, probably, will be something by Alice Cooper as well, because a lot of people requested him as well. Love the use of light and dark. Okay. That was cool. Um, all right. Now I thought he was saying blood, but it, is he saying is he saying black 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 number one? Is that all right? Um, let's see. I love how he's playing an upright bass, like a regular bass guitar. Yeah. It's been 10 years, Peter Steele gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> how many pop stars should we sacrifice to bring back Peter Steele? Oh, he is playing it like an electric guitar. Is that, so this person said only he could um, get away with playing an upright bass like an electric bass guitar. Hmm. Adam's family has this on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's let's take a look at what these lyrics are. They sounded like they're probably not super deep, but we're gonna look at them anyway. They f they felt. Um, more uh, more like a a feeling, you know. It felt like they were trying to evoke 
uh, a feeling or kind of a specific like uh, they felt like they were more showy lyrics they're not trying to make you think super deep they're more adding to the um, the overall feel and the picture being painted in your mind for the song so I went looking for trouble and boy I found her okay that might be on the we we did the um, the music video so a lot of times the music videos and the actual song are a little bit different so yeah the, whatever this is probably wasn't in the uh, version we just did then she's in love with herself she likes the dark on her milk white neck the devil's mark so she, she's in love with herself she likes the dark on her milk white neck the ne devil's mark it's all hallows eve the moon is full will she trick or treat i bet she will she will. Happy Halloween. She's got a date at midnight with Nosferatu. Oh, baby, Lily Munster ain't got nothing on you. Yeah, multiple references to horror movies. When I called her evil, she just laughed and cast that spell on me. Boo, bee craft. Yeah, you want to go out because it's raining and blowing. You can't go out because your roots are showing. Die him black. Black, 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 number one can't go out because your roots oh okay you want to go out because it's all dark and brooding but the roots in your hair are showing almost so okay it's all gothy again let's pour ink on ourselves <laughs> you know almost little wolf skin boots and clove cigarettes an erotic funeral for which she's dressed for which she's dressed her perfume smells like burning leaves every day is halloween Loving you is like loving the dead. Loving you was like loving the dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, there was also this line in the original uh, lyric. Loving you was like effing the dead. Which makes the song probably a lot worse than whatever we just listened to. <laughs> loving you was like loving the dead. Hmm. All right. Um... Yeah, if you if you just you know, oh, so it's loving you put so much revulsion in me. I guess is what this line is trying to say, and then the rest of it is yeah, you were like an unthinking, uncaring, unfeeling person. You love yourself and nothing else. Let's see if there's any uh, song facts on this. Probably not. Yeah. All right. We've got uh, songmeanings.com has some comments. So let's see what we've got. In my opinion, I don't think this song is as dark or as sober as it initially comes off. I think it's more tongue-in-cheek look at the gothic stereotype. Yeah. Yeah, it felt stereotypical, definitely. Um, lines such as, will she trick-or-treat? I bet she will. And Lily, Lily Munster ain't got nothing on you suggests a gently mocking tone. Coupled with the chorus that gives the song this name. You can't go out because your roots are showing, so dye them black. I think overall, very humorous tone. Judging by the tone set with these statements, I think the first and last verse tie up the song as an archetypal representation of a brooding, gothic female character. And yeah, that's... Yeah. Makes fun of the whole gothic stereotype. <laughs> okay um haha <laughs> this song is me in high school and just about every goth chick i've ever met the sarcasm of this song illustrates beautifully how serious she's taking herself and just how silly that is okay well i'm not a goth nowhere near one actually and i love this song <laughs> okay All right. Um, yeah, it felt like a very. It felt like a song made for Halloween, and if it, it was intended as like a tongue-in-cheek kind of humorous song that's poking a little bit of fun at the gothic stereotype, then okay, it was a great song. Thank you very much for introducing it to me. Um, let me know what other songs by them I should do moving forward. Um, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. And uh, stay tuned for more in our Halloween set of reactions. Deathstroke 9, out. See you soon.